students, welcome to the session of Remote Sensing and GIS. In the previous session, we have discussed about how is data captured, how is data recording it done. Now let's see that the recorded data is how interpreted and how is the data recorded in the sensor. And let's see the various characteristics of various sensors which are Indian satellites and which need to be known that how is that satellite working. Now, how is data recording through the sensor? We all know that there is a row and a path. You can see here the uh, square boxes which I have shown is row and a column, right? That row and a column, that one square will be your one pixel, right? A pixel has an intensity value and location address. That pixel, one pixel will be having the address of your data the data which is captured so whole earth is divided in such type of pixel grids and accordingly data will be captured right a image is a two-dimensional representation of object in real c right a digital image comprises of two-dimensional array of individual picture element called pixel arranged in row and column so yellow color part which you can see in the small box of what I have shown row and column is known as pixel. You all are aware about the pixel, word pixel, right? So there is a pixel that this is 12 megapixel or 13 megapixel or 12 pixel or 24 megapixel. What is the difference of 2 megapixel and 12 megapixel? Yes, when we buy a phone, we are just looking towards how many megapixel of the rear camera in the back camera right front and back both so that is what is a appearance of image towards us in our mobile phone i'm just giving you here an example so similarly sensors also has that type of characteristics that how is sensor made what is sensor made we are going to see that in this session only in detail now let's see if it is taking if i have a pixel of 8 by 8 kilometer you can see how is the data been captured look at the image of your left hand side down in the bottom 8 by 8 of row and column will give you how much data then you can see 4 by 4 right how much there is a 4 pixels towards that 2 by 2 you can see how many pixels are there so that much more data is captured right you can say 250 by 250 so lots many pixel lot many pixel and large area is been covered but we need to see the clarity and the pixel numbers also then only we can make it out that what is actually image having so larger the pixel will be carrying what will be carrying less information but smaller the pixel will be giving the large area information because it will cover more area right so this is how data is captured you have to remember the definitions which i have highlighted here in blue color which is important so basically pixel is an intensity value that what is the intensity of the sensor of the rays which are coming from the sensor right now look at the figure which is showing as whisk broom and push broom what is that yes in further in this subject also we are going to discuss in detail but let's discuss because this is important this is showing that how is sensor capturing the data so there are two types first is known as whisk broom and second is known as push broom you have to remember the name of it how it is possible so you can see here a sensor has been shown you can see that how it is recording right it is recording pixel by pixel one by other one by other this room it is recording in such a way means it is recording in which direction horizontal direction look at the figure it is taking the images into the horizontal direction now look at the image of push broom you can see the image what i have shown it is taking image in the vertical section right so this is how it works this is how it takes the image of the earth surface now even i'm talking about the pixel look at the background of the slide which i have shown here you can see the small small squares what is this background indicates yes this background is also of the pixel this is what i have shown here the satellite image so that small small pixels are known as pixels small squares are known as pixel so you can identify that which area comes under which pixel intensity so this is how we record the data 
Now let's discuss in detail various remote sensing sensor specification. First of all, let us discuss IRS-1A. What is IRS-1A? Look to it. It is been developed in 1988, right? The weight was 975 kgs. So basically, it was the first remote sensing, Indian remote sensing, operational part experimental mission which was been developed. Data from the satellite was used for the various applications in the area of agriculture, forest, tree, flood mapping, wasteland. So this, this is how we get the output from why we are capturing the satellite images. Then we have came up with the IRS-1A. You see the specifications are different. Now, yes student, look to IRS-1A again. It is of repetitive of 22 days. What is that 22 days? After 22 days, it will start again taking the image which is already been taken. And mission was completed in July 1996. It was started in 1988 and it completed in 96, right? So this is how it happens. Now we have came with irs 1A series, what are the sensors towards that? The sensors means what is the camera it has been considering, right? What is the camera that is known as LIS, Linear Imaging Self Scanning System, which has LIS 1 with the resolution of 73 meter. Now you got the point here, why I was talking about the pixel? You can get here when I tell about the spatial resolution, means what will be the pixel size? It will be the 73 meter. Swath range means what we have discussed about the swath in the previous sessions, right? It is 140 kilometer and band three visible and one infrared, near infrared, right? So three bands will be falling in the visible range and one band will be falling in the near infrared range of the electromagnetic spectrum. Now if you make yourself clear why, why I am telling you that sensors are important, specifications are important, then only your analysis, research, your output will be Important. List 2. Again, in the series of IRS-1A, we have prepared other sen sensor which is known as List 2, which has a spatial resolution of 36.25 meter. 3 visible and 1 near. You can see we are making the pixel in a such a clarity that we can get information and we can rectify or identify the information which we are capturing. Similarly, IRS-1C. So now, uh, according to that, we have decided that for the features which we want to extract with the earth features, we are accordingly making the sensors. Look at to IRS-1C sensor. Linear, which is known as least 3, which is freely available data. You can even download. Yes, we are going to see how we can download and how we can work for it. You can see here PAN, that is known as pan chromatic sensor, which has the range of 0 0.5 to 0. 75 right so at the 70 kilometers and weeps right these are the various sensors we have for irs 1c now we are going to discuss about resource at one sensor look here i am talking about the sensors now right resources one sensor has list four list three and advanced that is a weeps Right. You see what all other we have discussed in the previous slide is all upgrading. Look at the characteristics. Right. The first characteristics of linear imaging list 4. You see the spatial resolution. We came from 73 to 36 and now we are coming from 5.8 meter. So you can make it out that how much clear we are going to get the data. How much clearly we can identify the feature. Right. So this is how it works i guess now you have made yourself clear from the session of refraction reflection until this session right list 3 is again 23.5 meter but it has a SWE that is short wave infrared region <clears throat> right next we have a bits which is again have 56 meter resolution but sensors are upgraded in such a way and we have got this. You can see here SWAT is 23.9 kilometers for list 4, list 3 it is 140 and AVC it is 740 kilometers. So means how much data is captured you can see right. So this is how we are increasing our capabilities. Now let's discuss of Kalpana 1. You might have heard this Kalpana 1. Basically Kalpana 1 was developed to monitor the climate and environment earth observation. It was launched in 2002, right? And it was 1060 kg, 1060 kg was the weight of that. 
Now, it was named firstly as MagSat, but it was renamed as Kalpana 1 after Indian born American astronaut Dr. Kalpana Chawla died on February 1st, 2003, in US Space Shuttle. Right? So, this is how the mission is to collect the data of cloud, water vapor, and temperature of the atmosphere. Then, we started to more and more evolve in this technology and in this field of physics and remote sensing. Look to the Saral. You might have heard of the Saral, which is very important. It even have came into the newspapers also. That was again for the climate and environment only. But yes, it was Indo-French satellite. Then we started to, you know, mingle with the other countries. And we started the joint ventures of it. So this is known as Saral, which is to perform elementary measurement designed to study ocean circulation and sea surface elevation. Yes. Now, oceanography study and sea surface elevation, we are using this Saral data. We did this in 2003 and till now Saral data is working. Saral is giving us the results. Yes, students, sometimes it happens that the sensor stopped working. And if they stop working, means we are, we are not getting no more data. Right. So, we need to work more if you want that type of data again. So this is how Resource at World, Kalpana 1 and Saral are working and LIS is the sensor. Understand the name of the platform and name of the sensor. Platform means on which I am keeping my sensor, where my camera will stand, right? So remember with the clarity of all your definitions which we have discussed in the previous session. I hope you are clear with how is the Indian satellites capturing the data, what is the satellites been doing actually, how is data capture, why we are much and much more working towards this sector because more and more clarity, more and more new innovations will lead us to more and more research and more and more new and new technologies. That is all we have today as the Mars mission, Chandrayaan, right? So we may go further towards the other technologies using this type of remote sensing, right? Thank you.